is going to take you to our speaker notes. It's got the uh, layout for today, timeline, links to presentations. Um, it's a live doc, so there'll be more added as we go along. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, I just have a couple things that we need to go over and to announce. First, we want to say thank you to Forestville for hosting us in this amazing location. Um, also for providing coffee cookies that they baked just for us, amazing. Um, and then we have a couple sponsors that we need to thank as well. So unfortunately, neither one of them were able to join us today, but um, even so, we're very thankful for them. So Scott Fisher from Castle Learning has supported us and is providing lunch for us today. And then also Oscar Pin Pinterosa. Um, so if you were at TIFF South a little while ago, he did a presentation, he's from Thimble. He's also going to be donating a couple of his Thimble kits, uh, I believe it's a kit, um, so that we will be raffling that off at the end of today. Do we have a Google form for that? We can put that on here. All right, we'll put that up in, in a few minutes. So we'll put the link to the Google form for that raffle onto these speaker notes. You'll just click on that, fill out the information, and we'll do a random drawing at the end of the day. All right, so I also definitely want to be thanking Andy Wheelock, who unfortunately couldn't be here, so I had to step in for him, but this is his thing, this is his baby, this is his day, and I know he's disappointed that he's not able to be here, but um, along with him is the TIFF Advisory Group, who have also supported this whole effort and also all year long um, helping us run the TIFF meetings. So on the TIFF advisory group, I had to make sure I wrote down everyone's name so I didn't forget. We have Nicole Holler, <laughs> Amanda Pakanowski, Amanda, where's Amanda? Oh, there she is. Yeah, wave to us. Sean Laska, I don't think he's here today. Uh, Jen McCoola, Michelle Krieger, Michelle's here, there's Michelle, and Mike Dresick. Hopefully I got everybody. Thank you so much for all of your work in helping us pull all of this together. We couldn't do it without you. Also to our TIFF community, thank you guys for always uh, jumping in, presenting, sharing, um, coming today to, to listen to um, everyone who has a strong message, something that they want to share. So we appreciate you being here. That's my time, Mom. <laughs> Am I talking too much? Um, please help yourselves to the snacks. Um, we had several people from the TIP advisory group jump in and bring some things for this morning. We've got coffee and water up there, so please help yourselves. And with that said, we're going to get started with Nicole Holler. So we've added a little extra to our uh, format for the TIFF Talks this year, and prior to each speaker, we now have a quick little Spark Talk where um, any of the Spark presenters, not only are they introducing our speakers, but they're also going to be sharing maybe apps or ideas for the classroom. So my first, our first Spark Talk, that I'm gonna show you today. I'm going to highlight a fun little app that I've been playing around with. And it's an iOS app as well as an Android app. And it is called Figment AR. So with Figment, it's an augmented reality app, but it also includes some virtual reality. So I just wanted to highlight and show you a couple little tidbits about this app and hopefully you can bring it back to your schools, classrooms, buildings, or even your home, because it's a fun little app to check out. So, when you open up Figbit, it obviously turns on your camera, and down here you've got some fun little characters that you can add. So, when I swipe through, I could add a little emoji, and he'll pop up here. And I can place him in the audience. You can also resize, so if I squish him or pinch him, there we go. 
So some fun little characters that you can add. I can also apply different filters. So if I wanted there to be some fun little fireworks going off at our TIFF Talks, I can apply the fireworks. I could also make it snow. I know, I'll, I'll turn that one off quickly. Or we can pretend that we're underwater and we've got some bubbles. So it's cute. The other thing you notice that we've got a red circle, so you can record this as you are using Figment or as students are immersing themselves in their augmented reality. But the other really cool thing is this top button on the left here. This is a portal. Let me turn off my bubbles. All right. So this top button allows you to create a portal. And with the portal, you're gonna, you can select any of the frames. So if I choose this frame right here, and let me bring it up on stage and kind of bring it closer to me. With this portal, you can then bring yourself into a 3D image to view so you can portal yourself as my, yay, my best friend at twins. <laughs> I can also get out of that portal. There we go. Uh, I can add another one. So let's put that one right there. And instead of going to the beach, I can choose a new place to go. I could go underwater. Now these are the preloaded, whoops. These are the preloaded uh, 3D images and videos that Figment has on there, but you can also download or create. So you could use a panorama picture, you could download your own 360 picture, and let me bring this, I know. All right, so, there we go. Now we're underwater. And so students using this app, they could create a video of themselves portaling wherever they decide to go content-wise. So depending on the 360 view image that they choose, it's a cool little app. Pretty simple, not a whole lot of, I mean, all you need is the device, but lots of capabilities. And then you can export those photos. So if you wanted to export them anywhere, the photos get added to your camera roll, take that photo from your camera roll, throw it in Drive, put it in Slides, do whatever you need to do. So that is Figment, and it is linked on the Spark Notes that Mel shared. So that's my fun app that I want to share. It's my Spark Talk. Now we will get the day started.